What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, y'all? Back again in the building. Um, it's here for another podcast. You guys are still going to call me lazy, I know, but like I said, I explained the reason why I'll explain again because I'm trying to get back in decent shape. So, you know, that's why I am talk to, I got to talk to my trainer. We're working a lot of things out. I got two videos down. You should have caught a hint whenever I put two of those videos, especially the 500 10 times squat thing. She'll let, she'll let you know, but uh, back to the business at hand. Today we're going to talk about a thing that all you conservatives are going to hate me for saying, which is true, though, by the way. But the majority of conservatives, or a lot of conservatives, I'm not going to say the majority. I'll say a lot of conservatives are basically red Democrats when it comes to social uh, issues. Like, when it comes to, like, religion, uh, homosexuality, transgender freak shows, stuff like that. A lot of these people show their true colors and show that they're really Reagan Democrats. And then, like, they'll try to tell you, well, conservatives aren't religion. If you, true conservatism, there's they go to religious. They're they're like they're like they go by the Bible. Now you're gonna have these anal people try to make references where should we start stoning everybody? Shut up, stupid. You're not part of the conversation. You know you, people know what I'm talking about. about conservatives know what I'm talking about. They don't believe like the homosexuality. They don't believe like I'll give you an example. My minister, black guy, of course, he's a true conservative. And let me tell you what he does in the church. And I, and I, I back him up for it. He'll ask you, like, if he knows you, what type of sin you're doing, you know the, what God said were sins, and he knows you're doing that, he'll pull you aside. And he'll ask you. And I'll, use, he'll, I'll use myself for prison. Brother Warmack. We, yes, sir. We have some rumors in the church, or it's been confirmed that You've been fornicating with a lot of women. Now, first of all, are you doing this? Now, if I would say yes, here's how he plays it. If I say no, then this conversation over and keep it up, and keep up the good work, yada yada. But if I said yes, he'd give me an option. Well, give me two options, really. He said, "Brother Warmack," and I'd say, uh, "Yes, sir." Since you have admitted these sins towards God, would you be willing to, now listen, would you be willing to give these up for God knowing that these are sins? Now, he's giving me two options. Either I can say, yes, I'm willing to give these up for God and stay in the, in, in the, in the well, I'll say parish, I ain't Catholic, but I'll just say that, stay in the church. Or I can just say, no which will make me a hypocrite. So if I say yes, I'm willing up, then we'll pray, then we'll do all this for the second and the fifth, then we'll come up with a program to go from there. Now if I say no, I'm getting a bum's rush. You know, it's like, it's don't, let the, don't let the door hit you where a good Lord splits you. And I agree with him t- on that because he just doesn't pick any sin. He, pick, he's, he does them all. If you're homosexual, he'll ask you, are you willing to give your life still up for the Lord? If you say no, that's on you. Even though you know what it says in the Bible. But when you talk to some of these conservatives, well, Jesus wasn't like that. Let me tell you something. Like, okay, I'll, I'll, use, I'll use a comparison. I'll use two comparisons to really solidify, solidify my point. Number one, the Bible... And even Democrats get mad at this one. The Bible does not condemn slavery. There's three verses that talk about how you treat your servants and your slaves. Then there's examples of God telling the Jews who do enslave. Let me give you an example. When the Jews were looking for their land, God told them to go where he told them to go for Israel, buy the land, purchase the land, you know, Buy for the water, etc. The same, the third. But he also said, and whoever doesn't agree with you, make them your slaves. It's in the Bible. Now, people are going to say, 
Well, in America, slavery was different. Let me tell you. Let me tell you this. In America, slavery was one racial. Number two, it was economical. Because you wonder why it's called free labor. That's economics, people. And, and, and that's like the, that's usually the heartstring that Democrats want to play. Where you man, when slavery was, I'm like, look, man, your God condoned slavery. We talking about. Now let me tell you about another situation. The immigrants. Oh, we're we'll probably building a wall. We shouldn't have built a wall. We should let people come in. Well, like the point was made by these guys, it was like the Cubans when they came in. Well, Fidel Castro let them. Not when, not, not when, you know, he let people who wanted to leave leave. The first, like the last re- recent times, I don't know about when he let the the boat deal. He let a lot of prisoners and a lot of political foes come in, and that's what people were worried about. But I tell these people, well, your Bible, even heaven has a wall. Everybody doesn't get in heaven, do they? Yeah, but. Ain't no yeah, but. It's yes or no. So that's why you, you, these people, like, you talk to these people, you can tell who's conservative and who's a Reagan Democrat. You say you're conservative, but when it comes to, like, social issues, like homosexuality and transgenderism, they're not conservative. That's that's a Reagan Democrat. You're conservative on some things, and you're democratic on some things. Because if you were if you were a Reagan, let, let me put you this way. I, I hate to say this, this is how it is. If my son, God forbid, turned out to be a puff, a powder puff, would I love him? Yes, I would. He's my son. I'm gonna love him. Um, but I can't accept what he's doing. And people are going to get mad at me saying, well, how can you love him but not, hey, if I kill somebody, my dad and mom love me, well, they're like, what are you doing killing people? Well, we didn't raise you to do that. See what I'm saying? It's the same thing. Well, this, this because it's this gay and transgender, y'all want to make a big deal because, let's face it, more and more people are becoming gay and are coming out as that. But the fact remains is conservatives, a lot of conservatives are not true conservatives. The Reagan Democrats, masking as conservatives, because once you start talking about social issues, that's when the old donkey comes out. So I just wanted to make that point and talk about it because it's on my mind right now. Because I just got, I, I kind of get into it with people. Well, not get into it. We have discussions, and like I said, I mean, you t- when you talk about social issues or hot buttons, that's when these people start poking out. So I'm out of here. Peace.